Hey, I'm back. Now, first of all, I'm not ever going to have enough time on this phone to uh, to express uh, everything that probably I would love to express. Uh, I just got done writing a uh, sort of a long dissertation that might take 600 pages to describe and try and put it in maybe four paragraphs on a YouTube channel that was talking about Lieutenant General McErney, and, and even this guy who's got, what, four stars? Uh, you know, he, he talks about, you know, well, this was a major biological attack, the virus and all this. I'm going, man, you got four stars, right? Uh, listen, let me hook you up with Dr. Robert O. Young, and we're going to get down to the, the brass tacks, the, just the basic elemental stuff, General. Okay? Go look up the definition of a virus. It's the breaking of the crown of the cell. What is a cell? It's a communication device. You're in biotechnology. It is a communication platform that we use to experience this realm, okay? And have as much fun as we can and spread as much love and light as we can. What do you think happens when we're doing that? Love is a law. That's a frequency. That means we build thriving civilizations, thriving communities, and our relationships and everything we experience using our creative imagination, man, imagine that, our unlimited potential, right? That's who we are. So first of all, to make sure that I get all this in, as I've said before, my biggest heartfelt, soul-felt love will always go to Patty Broussard uh, because she took me for a few tours to show me what it is that she was doing while she was here. And everybody else that came in here to liberate the consciousness of humanity, because that's essentially what it is, okay? So imagine that your children are not held captive. Their mind's energy is not being directed like a roadmap, okay? Where the electrons, the information that represents electronic data. This was electronic warfare, okay? So what did they do? They threw everything at us. Said, run this, run that, run this, run that. Use your consciousness to experience this. Use your consciousness to experience this. At some point, you got to figure out, hey, these fucking people are demons. Yeah. These things, these beings that, that are in these political positions and the financial and everywhere else, they don't love who we are. We love who we are, but they certainly do not love us. Well, why are we letting those people who have no love for anything rule what it is that we experience. Just a, a, you know, I used to say to myself, how come nobody took the time to, to try and ask the question, how come the Indians live so differently on this planet? They seem to have a communication relationship with the living battery that's in this planet. What's that all about? Just a basic question that a child might ask out of wanting to learn. Because that's what it's all about. How much passion do we have where we're excited to learn? Now, I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for my own soul's journey. And that is just like Sophia. When I was a small child, I used to think to myself, what would you like to go do? What would you like to go do? Oh, my God. There are a gazillion unlimited things to go do. Well, what do you want to do with your consciousness energy to go experience? My God, I could go do this. I could go do that. I could go do this. I could go do anything. You're so excited because the universe that your mind lives in, in soul and spirit, is so exciting to experience, you want to learn everything there is to learn so you can experience everything there is to experience. Because the energy that you're using with is powered by so much light. That universe, with me, is through that heart. That's where I came through. Okay? So I, re I knew as a small child reading my first newspaper, hey, this isn't my universe. I don't live in that place. My consciousness does not live in that program. So I thought, okay, what do I do? I just put a bullet to my head and say, bye, okay? Or do I just go out and be Sasquatch, go live out in the woods and just completely isolate myself away from the rest of civilization? Because you know that the way that it was constructed is meant to collapse. It was all controlled by the CIA, and who are they people? They're demons. They got no love to give anybody, including themselves. That's a psychopath. 
So if they don't have any love for themselves, that means they don't have any love for everything that's in nature. It's giving love back to everybody because that's the living battery, the living biosphere, okay, that is in this planet that is giving us everything that we need without a fee. Now, I've always used the, the analogy when I was a little child in a, in a baby chair, remember the high chairs? When I realized that my mother was going out and picking oranges in the backyard and bringing them in there, and I realized the earth is giving us free energy. Orange juice, man, I love that stuff. I didn't have to pay for that, no. You're learning. The universe is free energy. It's against the law to put a meter on the universe. So when Patty mentioned the other day about the Guardian Alliance, there has to be guardians that guard the universe. Okay? And particularly when they come into our classrooms and they start fucking them up. And then harvesting energy off beings and souls and everything that they do here. Somebody's got to put a stop to that. I can remember when I was a child, what happened to my universe? Well, guess where the universe really is? I actually never lost my universe. I just didn't put any energy into the external world that was communicating to me. And then I was experiencing who I am through my heart. Which means everything that is out there that is through my heart. A gate. Stargates. Okay, I know how grand the rest of the universe that is out there that is in that light. And the gates that open come through my heart. So I'm always out there. I'm always in all that light. That's sanity. It's like I mentioned to this guy's website, and a lot of people don't realize this. One of the things when I look through just part of the research in the published papers of Dr. Robert O. Young, and of course, if you tie this into everything that I did in research and collecting data since the time I was a child, which is really terrain mapping, which basically is measuring time vectors of energy and frequencies that are out of balance. They're not in harmony with each other. So we, we can do a calculation where I call measurements. Remember, if you go look at all my previous videos, you're measuring the communications that are taking place between those that are communicating back and forth to each other. And you can measure those frequencies, which is like tuning a ham radio. So you have very sensitive antennas, a highly sensitive and full band receiver and transmitter. So I've always called myself a Laniakea cosmic antenna, okay? Which allows us to be able to communicate and get communication signals to us from wherever they're communicating with us. So we know we're getting the communication and we get it and we feel it, okay? Which is just like an experience I had yesterday. I didn't need to get on a cell phone and tell somebody to communicate. I was getting a communication, which is sort of like what Patty Broussard talks about. We don't need technology to communicate or travel. No. Okay. You are a communication device. Your consciousness, neurons, ion channels of communication. That's why I knew as a child, stay in your heart where all the neurons are. They know how to hack this. But they can't hack the universe. They can't hack source. So when you know that, you know we already got it. And why you're here. So it was like, when are you guys going to show up? They're here. In droves. So as I told that girl on the phone, you know, give me a company of U.S. Marines. And I'll, I'll show you all the people that need to be picked up. I told that nurse who works for that surgeon. Do you realize that if I participate in, in what it is you want me to do in order for you to fix what's wrong with me as a result of a fuck up by somebody else? Okay? I'm participating in a fucking war crime. And that includes yourself. Because the vast majority, because you're measuring the energy and you're measuring why it is that people run a parasitic program to drain their own battery, which means we already know the future of those that are doing what it is that they're doing to collapse their own biosphere. So when you run the numbers, you begin to realize that basically 
Most of the people on the planet are clinically insane because they're running a program that's meant to self-destruct. That's a parasitic acid rain program that they're running and don't even know it. Until it's too late. That makes a mountain of money for predators, parasites, bigger ones. That's the system everybody plugged into and gave it energy. So all the pain and suffering could have been stopped. So that's one of the reasons why when I was a child and I mentioned on the video, I knew I was going to have to go through this and I didn't want to go through it. But you have to be willing to, to suffer. It's just like I've said many times. You can keep hurting me. You can keep abusing me all you want. That's who you are. That's not who I am. I'll bounce back. I know how to recharge my battery and I know exactly who to go to to have it done. And that's a girl on the planet. And through my heart. There's enough light through this heart right here to power my battery right back up again. Because I, we know who we are and who we're not. So you can't put my light out. Which means you can't put my fire out. Because I, there's a big spirit of fire in me. That's who we are. We love our universe. So you know we're going to defend and protect it with everything we got. Which is all of our light. Which is infinite. Which is infinite fire. Girls were my first teachers. Sophia was my first teacher. So if you know anything about her, you'll realize how much she loved to learn. And the speed at which she was learning, which is self-discovery of what it is you are and what is possible, which is unlimited. So you value everything that you're learning in order to go faster, to expand how beautiful that universe is that's who we are. So anyway, um, I'm just happy. I, I, th throughout my entire life, even since I was a child, I used to say to myself, if, if just another being, one, another soul on this planet could experience just for 10 seconds what I have had the, how do I put this? Well, it's always going to be gratitude. I call it a gift. It's a gift the universe gives me, but it's a gift I give to myself because of my teachers. Okay? So I honor them. So I always honor a spiritual goddess. The creation side of the cosmos. So it always starts with that. And everybody else that's in the cosmos that we give love to. That's why we're so sensitive in being able to detect any time there's a loss of energy anywhere. Because we're not supposed to be losing any light. Because we don't. We can always recharge it. So that's why down here, these are classrooms. To help show others how to do that. How to go faster. How to experience the cosmos, if you will, in a state of love and joy. Where you love the universe you are because that universe is the one that's in your mind. 